Okay, welcome back for this. Um, this exploration of uh, perspective and foreshortening, we are going to um, look at something called perspective measurement. And this is applying um, kind of that transferring scale method in a little bit different kind of a way um, to some just basic geometric forms, some blocks. But this is another um, method of, of uh, perspective. We're gonna, so we're gonna work with um, some two-point perspective blocks and we're gonna have them be below the eye level. So we're gonna make um, our eye level, we're gonna put it kind of um, high up on the picture plane here. And uh, again, lining that up as best we can. There we go. I can see if I go up above it. Ooh. Oh, I'm running into that one over here. Okay, sorry about my head again. I just gotta do this right. Okay, okay, okay. Do it right the first time. Yeah. Okay, so that's our eye level. Um, so now to make remember to make a one point perspective block, we're going to um, bring our leading edge down by pulling a vertical down off of that eye level, lining our triangle up, and um, then we're going to take the sides to vanishing points that are on the eye level on either end of the. Uh, eye level. Remember that in reality, these will more likely be way off of our paper, um, but just to have this make sense so we can see everything at the same time, we will put them all on the, the paper. But now we're going to go from the top and bottom of that leading edge back to the vanishing point on the left, and then over to the vanishing point on the right, so that we can quickly um, make a, a block, a two-point perspective block here so that we can get to our point of what we're really talking about. Okay, so we want, um, we're going to be working mostly with this side here, so I'm going to make that side, oh, the glare, um, a little bit wider so you can see. And then over on the left, Another vertical there and then to make the top remember we go from the top of the right over to the left and from the top of the left over to the right so they crisscross and there we have our block so for this exercise we want to our goal is to divide this plane right here up into equal sections but remember, we need to account for foreshortening with uh, those spaces in between those separations getting smaller as they go back away from us in space. So here is the, um, the measuring line or the measurement method. What we're going to do is pull a construction line, a measuring line, off of this front leading edge. So we're going to line up our triangle with that leading edge and pull that horizontal across. We will now divide this measuring line. We'll call this as a measuring line. Measuring line. We're now going to um, divide that measuring line up into five equal parts. It doesn't matter what those measurements are. They can be centimeters, they can be feet, they can be inches. That doesn't really matter. Um, it just matters that they're equal on this uh, measuring line. So let's, um, let's go ahead and do centimeters just for the heck of it. So we'll come across here and make five tick marks. One, two, three, four, and five. We're not going to the end of the measuring line. We just need, that's just a, a tool that 
uh, measuring line is just a tool for us to use, and we want five equal measurements there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now from our last measurement, we're going to draw another construction line that's going to go through the bottom right corner of our box and where that hits up on our eye level, that's going to be a special vanishing point. So ours just happened to align uh, almost straight up and down with this corner. Yours might look different depending on the width of your edge here. But as we draw that construction line up to the eye level, now this becomes a special vanishing point for us. And we'll now use this mark and these marks to measure and to divide up this edge right here. So now, as we go from measurement one to that special vanishing point, And you can draw these, you know, have these go all the way through, but we're going to start to get a lot of lines that are going on top of each other. So if you want to just stop this where it intersects with that edge right there, that's just fine too. So right there, that's our first intersection. Now from measurement two, back to the special vanishing point. And you want to be sure that you're going from that tick mark that you made you're going from where the tick mark meets the measuring line. Sometimes, you know, we can make tick marks that are pretty, you know, flamboyant. And we'll go from like the top of the tick mark back um, to the vanishing point. Nope, we want to go from where that tick mark meets the measuring line up to that edge. And then just continue with each of those from measurement three. up to that edge, and from measurement four, finally up to the vanishing point. Not, I'm, It looks like I might be shooting for that corner, but nope, I'm going to that vanishing point right there. Okay. So each of these intersections then becomes the starting point for my vertical that's going to go up. So now I can use uh, a couple of different, I'm gonna use the eye level. I could use that measuring line, but I'm gonna use the eye level. Lining my triangle up with the eye level and my intersection down here on this edge. That's the starting point for my vertical that's going up. That's my first division. Then I go, oh, when I was, I was off by just a hair there, Sorry, that's my bad. I'm gonna use this inner edge of the triangle just so I can see it a little bit better from the way that this uh, light's hitting it over here. I'm gonna use this inner edge to line up with my eye level. And from that intersection up, nope, it's overshot just a little bit. Back to measurement three from intersection number three and up and back to intersection number four and up. And again, overshot just a little bit there and there. But you can see that the division that's closest to us is wider than the next one, than the next one, than the next one. Okay? So that is a, a great way to divide up space. Um, what if we tried it, uh, but we wanted intersections that were not equal? Let's try it on this other side. Let's continue our measuring line over again. Maybe we want five divisions, but they are unequal divisions. So maybe the first one is really wide. Maybe we've got one that's 
two wide, and then we've got just one, and then maybe we have a half, and so we've got one, two, and then maybe another uh, full, and another half. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then maybe uh, a five, and one and a three quarters or something, okay? So those are um, all uneven. So actually, I've made too many there. I forgot about this one. So we've got one, one, two, three, four, five. I actually have six over there. But that's okay, we can add a sixth one. We now, it's the same thing. Um, now we just go from that last measurement through the bottom corner. And where that intersects with the eye level, that becomes our special vanishing point. And then we just go from each of those back to the special vanishing point and where it intersects with that bottom line. That's where we'll start our division. Special vanishing point to the mark on the measuring line, stopping there, number three. And number two. And number one. All right. So now I'm back with my triangle, lining it up with the eye level to make sure I get those verticals that are all parallel to each other. Starting at the front, this time working my way to the back, the next intersection. And sliding it along. The next one. And the next one. So what I'd like you to do is try both of these methods on a cube that you've made that's below the eye level. One with even measurements and one with uneven measurements. Okay. Um, so try that and then we'll come back with um, another way to do it.